Oh, so I don't know. That is not how I expected this vlog to go at all. Hello everyone. Isn't it weird to not be sat on a tripod? Um, today I, not gonna lie, wasn't really feeling a sit down video. So I thought I would do a little vlog for you. My job isn't an NQT job, sadly. I didn't manage to secure one, but I do currently work and teach 600 children French. So my weekend is slightly different to other newly qualified teachers. I completely know that. But if you are interested in what I do in the day of the weekend, then why not watch this video to see what I get up to. The next clip is going to be of me making notes on my lesson plans. With the agency I'm with, they provide lesson plans. However, I, I just can't memorize them for some reason. So I always write notes. They've kind of got more condensed with time, which is a good thing. So I make notes on the lesson plans that they give me and unless they provide a PowerPoint, I make my own. So you will be seeing me make a year two PowerPoint. This looks very, very basic. And even I'm kind of like, oh, will this be enough? But I've learned that I have 30 to 35 minute sessions. They normally have to wash their hands at least once in that session, sometimes two, if I have them before break and lunch. And so I've actually found that under planning is better. I can improvise a game where we can recap things, but if I can't get through everything I plan to, that's more problematic. So I would rather under plan, have limited slides and do a lot of teacher talk, repeat after me, fun games to recap, than to stress about timings like I was in the first week and just not get enough done. So, So if you'd like to see what I get up to this weekend, then stick around for the vlog. If you enjoy it, because I know it is something different, then please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing before you exit this video. record it but I just spent about three hours probably annoying my neighbours playing piano and belting. I don't know I haven't I've never been able to really belt so I put I have to put the music full volume on my phone and then I could kind of belt but I've had a cold for a week so it's the first time I've properly sung and I went for it. I went to do some kind of like cute musicy footage thing little montage but then if you can see fingers playing on the piano keys especially if you actually know how to play the piano. And then you've got random music on the top. That, I mean, that would bug me, so I don't wanna do that to you guys. So it's probably gonna end up being quite a short vlog because it's already like 5 p.m. What I'm gonna do is there are some children that find the pace of the lesson quite tricky. Like I said, I've only got 30, 35 minutes and with year five and year six, we decided to just cut out a whole lesson and make it so they had two lessons of PPA rather than three. So we get about 45 minutes. But by the time I log on and do all that techie passwordy stuff, um, I've kind of wasted about two, three minutes. So what I want to do is I want to try and make it easier for some of those children who struggle with the pace of the lesson, especially with the quantity of writing. I use exercise books, they finally arrived. I use exercise books for year three up to year six and so obviously year threes aren't as quick as writing. So I'm going to try and think of ways that I can kind of reduce the workload. And for those in year five and year six who are finding it a bit tricky, because obviously they are expected to write more because they are older, I want to think of a way to do that. I did try yesterday and 
I don't know, I just couldn't really find that solution yet. So I think maybe if I try and think of a way on paper, then maybe that will help me brainstorm it and then I can put it on the computer. I think this is gonna be less independent, so it's probably gonna be something I'm gonna have to do with all my lessons. I have emailed some of the class teachers asking if they think there are specific children that might need some differentiated work or some scaffolding, or I've asked if particular children um, needed that guidance, because obviously I only see them less than an hour a week, so I never know if they're just having an off day or whether they actually do need some extra support from me. So hopefully I will hear back from them. I will now go and design design i'm not creative i just think that there's nothing worse than kind of spending time writing the date spending time writing the li and then maybe getting one or two words or phrases down and then everyone else having like a whole page and actually it's not their fault so yeah i feel like it's my job to help them so that's what i'm going to do for the rest of the for the rest of the afternoon probably until dinner that is the plan Sorry for the yellow lighting, that's just the light in my room. Um, so that was an, an, uh, 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 that was an unexpected turn of my weekend. Just had dinner, went to check my phone, and I got a message. What's that message from another PPA teacher? She's actually employed through the school rather than an agency, but she was really kind when I first started and she was like, here's my number. And she just texts me saying that the year six bubble um, has been closed and so we're going to have to self-isolate for two weeks. Which, knowing we're only three weeks in is, oh, it's so annoying. But what I'm kind of wondering is, I taught year six on Wednesday. Um, on Thursday I taught the whole of year four and the whole of year five, which is 180 children. I then, on Friday, so yesterday, I taught a year four class again and I taught the whole of reception which is another 90 children. Are they all going to have to self-isolate? I sat in the staff room with staff, are they going to have to self-isolate? The class teachers, are they going to have to self-isolate? Like what? what is the impact of this? Because the reason I have to self-isolate is because I teach all of the, well every single student in the school basically. But I wonder about the implication on, other, on others. Not just that, but now that all the PPA teachers have gone, how are the class teachers going to have their PPA time? I've just got so many questions going through my head right now. Um, the PPA agency haven't contacted me yet because they don't work on the weekend, so I'm going to wait till Monday. And now I'm kind of in, well, obviously questioning mode, like what's happening, but also kind of this sudden drive to get work done because it's unpaid self-isolation. But I'm thinking if I try and find some way of doing like a video lesson or creating some worksheets for them so they can still learn and so that the teachers still have something to give them rather than having to 
either lose their PPA time or create some lessons they weren't expecting to have. Obviously, I don't know, on Monday they might just ring me and say, you know, that was all in vain, but I kind of just want to be prepared unless that's an option. But again, now I'm kind of like, where do I start? On Tuesday, I would have had three in year three and year two. Year two wouldn't normally write anything. And obviously they're still learning to write because they missed a lot of year one. So I can't really give them like a written task. I'm tempted to do, especially, you know, when I have this camera and a tripod, I'm tempted to do a lesson, but obviously you'd still need somebody in there to supervise them. Oh, so I don't know. Because either I go into like full on, you know, 100 miles per hour planning, creating videos um, and trying to get them ready or I kind of just sit here but two weeks knowing I'm only three weeks into the job is bizarre to just sit here <laughs> I'm not surprised this has happened I'm in a way I'm kind of surprised it took this long but there's always that option that after two weeks when I get back I might teach one class maybe their bubble gets closed and then I have another two weeks it's a bit worrying that is not how I expected this vlog to go at all oh anyway I will if there's more to, to show you because there's no point putting more working on a computer montage um but if there is any update or if I decide what to do I'll let you know if not then I will end this vlog here I'm sorry this was a bit rubbish but it's not what I was expecting also I just want to say I completely understand why I'm in self-isolation I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that at all I'm just now not sure on what my next steps are um, just before anyone comments that or thinks that I'm saying it's stupid or anything like that. I'm not, I completely understand and it's all for good safety reasons, so that's fine. I'm just in a, in a state of confusion. <laughs> but anyway, if you enjoyed this, <laughs> if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more teach content down below. Hit the bell if you want to be notified and if you do have any advice, please send it down below. But anyway, I will see you guys soon. As I'm stuck here, I might do some extra videos, who knows? But yeah, I will speak to you later. Bye!